Hey, Austin, we're going to draw one of my favorite cartoon characters. Who are we drawing? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Yeah. He, what does he love to eat? Honey. Yeah, honey. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. You also need? Some paper and something to glue with. Yeah. All right. Let's start. Now we're gonna draw a really simple version of Winnie the Pooh. We're first gonna draw a little V in the middle of our paper. This is for his nose. So you're gonna draw it a little bit more in the center. Keep going, there you go, right there. That's a good spot. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw a curve on the top for the top of his nose, and then let's color in that shape. Which shape is that? A triangle. Yeah, a triangle. Now let's draw his eyes, I'm gonna draw a circle over here and a circle on the right side. Two circles for his eyes. Same size. And then we're gonna color those shapes in also. What should we draw next, Austin? Mouth. A mouth? Okay, let's draw him happy because he's eating his favorite food, honey. We're gonna draw a curve. It comes under his nose and back up towards his other eye. Then we can also give him cheeks. Let's draw two short lines on each side. Next, we're gonna draw the shape of his head. We're gonna start over here by his eye, and we're gonna draw his cheek, it comes out on one side. We're gonna come around to the other side, and then draw another curve over here for his other cheek. Yeah. Oh, you're doing such a great job. All right, now let's draw the top of his head, and I'm gonna bring the cheek in a little further because to match this side. Next, we're gonna draw the top of his head, we're gonna draw an upside down U. We're gonna go up, over, and back down on the other side. No. <laughs> now, how old are you, Austin? Eight. Eight, you can be super proud of your drawing, and it's okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. We say this all the time, because both of our drawings are turning out awesome. I'm sure their drawings look really cool too, and I bet they look different than ours. Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, remember to have fun. And to practice. Practice. All right, let's keep going. Let's draw his ears next. We're gonna draw his little bear ears on top of his head. <laughs> little U shape. I love yours so much. <laughs> it looks awesome. It still looks like Winnie the Pooh. And now we're gonna draw another one on the other side. Next, we're gonna draw his honey pot that he's eating honey out of. We're gonna draw a short straight line right underneath his chin kind of off to the side. He's gonna be holding it with one hand. Okay, and then we can draw a little curve on each side. Little C shape, a frontward C shape and a backward C shape on the other side. Then we're gonna draw curves that come down, one that comes down on this side. Yeah, now on this side, we're gonna draw his paw hanging onto it. So we're gonna draw a sideways U shape for his little hand. So come in and then back out. Yeah, and then on this side, let's draw a curve for his hand. Then we're gonna draw the rest of the pot coming out from the bottom of his hand. So right, yeah, just imagine a little line, the curve for the side of the pot going behind his hand and then connecting the two lines at the bottom. All right, now let's draw the honey coming out of the pot. I'm just gonna draw a wiggly line like this for the honey spilling over the side of the honey pot. Yeah, good job. All right, now we're ready to draw his body. Let's first draw a short line over here on this side to connect his head to the honey. Yeah, and now we're gonna draw a longer line on this side. So we're gonna draw the other side. This is gonna be his t-shirt. Now we can draw the bottom of his t-shirt coming across to the other side. Now let's draw his feet or his legs. We'll draw a curve that comes down. We're just gonna draw really short little legs. Yep, and then we're gonna draw another one on this side. Are those his legs? Yeah, they're gonna be short. <laughs> yeah. skinny. skinny little legs. Then we're gonna draw the bottom <laughs> of his feet and I'm, no, gonna match, I'm gonna match the same size on the other side. Oh yeah, you went oh, all the way. That's okay, I'll do that too. You went all the way to his t-shirt. I'm just gonna go right to there. So I'm gonna draw a short little line that comes up. You can go all the way 
if you want. Yeah, I like it. And then that's okay. That is different. Remember? Yeah. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna connect him like this. But I love the way that you did it. Okay, now let's draw his arm that's sticking out over here. So let's draw him waving. We're gonna draw a short line down from his chin. And then we're gonna connect it into his belly. Then let's draw his little arm sticking out. We're gonna draw a sideways U shape that connects. It kind of looks like a J, the letter J. Yeah. And then let's add a little bit of honey on his paw. We can draw a wiggly line. Oh, and also let's give him eyebrows. We'll draw a little eyebrow up here and then one over here on this side. <laughs> awesome, we did it. We finished drawing Winnie the Pooh. Yours is my favorite, except we still need to do one more thing to our drawing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Winnie the Pooh. Did you have fun? Yeah. I especially love the legs. Those are my favorite. And I love that they're different. Now you guys at home right now can pause the video to match the same coloring. What do we use to color our drawings? Markers. Yeah, we use markers, but you guys could use colored pencils or even oil pastels. Now what else could our art friends add to their drawings? A background. Yeah, you could draw a background. Maybe you could draw the 100 acre woods. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.